guys, welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga. Guess where we are? Back in the studio, the real studio. I don't have to share my art studio to do the yoga. Even though I know some of the new people to this group are probably like, wait, what's this space? But we're back, our floors are done. It's this really cool rubber flooring. Um, and everything is taken care of. I know if you were in the group, you probably saw like a week, week and a half ago that I had actually posted pictures that it was done. Um, but then we had a mold issue. And if you uh, don't know about me, I'm like allergic to life, but not cockroaches. I can have some pet cockroaches. Don't worry, I won't ever do that. <laughs> um, so anyways, my birthday was just on July 5th. Today is, what is today? The 9th. And my birthday present was an air purifier that is basically gonna remove all of the allergens from the air. And guess what, you guys, I can breathe. And we're back in the studio and it just makes my heart happy and clearly. Look who's with us, little Lenny. He's like boycotted the upstairs because it's so freaking warm in Michigan right now. So anyways, if you guys are here, Facebook literally doesn't tell me who's live anymore or who's with me live. So give me like a little thumbs up or a heart or tell me something. Tell me something you're grateful for because you guys, guess what? I'm so grateful to be back in this space. I'm so grateful to have air that I can breathe in my own house. Like it is a good freaking day. Ugh. So I hope you guys are ready for some yoga and we can truly feel this loving energy that is already like going off from me. You know I've got my water real close by because it's been so hot and uh, it's like you walk outside and you're already just like pouring sweat. I can say I'm sick of washing my hair. <laughs> oh goodness. We started with the terrible jokes already. So I'm glad you guys could make it. Go ahead and officially take a drink of your water. Ooh, it's got some lemon in it. It's super tart, delicious. And uh, you know the drill? Come on down to the floor. We'll start here. Um, I'm not sure how long today is gonna take. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a 35 minute session or a 45 minute session. So. I know you guys usually plan for a 45 minute session because uh, that's what I tend to do. Um, but we're gonna do a low to the ground, um, lower our energy, just kind of, you know, ease ourselves into the night and do a lot of stuff that's gonna open up your chest, really relieve some of that tension you might be feeling in your neck, in your traps, um, and just keep it low to the ground and just really, really simple. You guys know how I like to roll simple. So this little ham is, oh my gosh, is giving all the love. Anyways, enough chatting. Let's do the dang yoga. So come on down, get yourself nice and comfortable. Sit however is comfortable for you. Just lift your chest, straighten through your spine, bring your hands onto your legs, in your lap. I don't really care, just get comfortable. And then go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, breathe it in. Exhale, release. This time I want you to think of taking the biggest breath you've taken all day so you can feel your entire chest right here. Feel your belly pressing out. Guess what, I'm not judging you if your belly expands super far. So take a big inhale in. And exhale, push it out twice as long, engage your abs. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Great, catch your breath. Push out twice as long again. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. All right, catch your breath. Awesome, let it go, just normal. Really just let that breath come in and out of your nose in a nice natural rhythm. You can smile if you want, because it is truly a beautiful day. And I'm sure some of you are watching me just play with Lenny. He won't leave me alone. <laughs> Notice 
If your shoulders are starting to creep all the way up to your ears, just release them down, relaxing through your, leg, your, your legs, <laughs> through your spine here. Oh boy, this is how we're starting. It's gonna be a fun one, guys. Go ahead and open your eyes, and we're actually gonna transition to laying down really quickly. No, that doesn't mean you get to take a nap on me. We're going to do something a little different with our breath. You can keep your feet planted onto the floor. And what I want you to do is I want you to just focus on your hips right now. Now, on the floor, I want you to do, uh, you know, the booty pop. So really push your belly forward, feel your hips rolling and pressing into the ground, right? So you'll really feel a lift through your low back here. And then, alternatively, I want you to roll your hips, keep your feet nice and still, try to keep your ribs flat onto the floor, and just roll your hips. It feels like your tailbone is going up towards the ceiling right now. So let's practice that. Inhale, booty pop. <laughs> Exhale, roll your tailbone all the way up. Just getting some mobility here in our hips right away. Inhale, roll or pop, I should say. Exhale, roll. Inhale. Exhale. Great, now just lay here normal. Don't have anything that's pushing down or extending up in any way. So now we're gonna engage our breath, okay? So as we take an inhale, inhale, I want you to round through your spine, doing that little booty pop. Now when we exhale, I want you at the same time, you know when you have to go pee and you have to really hold your bladder? That's your pelvic floor. Boys, girls, we all have it, okay? I want you to squeeze that as if you are trying to hold in your bladder and squeeze your abs at the same time. And we're going to exhale twice as long, just like we did when we were sitting up. So we'll do, it. We'll do an inhale again. So take a big inhale, round through, pop that booty. Exhale. Squeeze your pelvic floor like you're trying to hold in your pee. Flex your abs, press your air out. Keep it going, keep it going, keep going, keep going. Catch your breath, round through, booty pop again. Exhale, press it out, contract all those things. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna do two more just like that. Now I want you to notice, is it only your chest lifting or are you breathing through the lower part of your belly like we were doing when we were sitting? So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Great job. Okay, so now you can go ahead and sit back up. Why did we do that? Why do I make you do the weirdest things? because I want you to be a strong, happy, healthy human, <laughs> okay? What we just practiced was engaging our pelvic floor, but also strengthening our diaphragm. And I know I talk about that all the time. So I want you to keep focusing on that breath right now. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Relax your shoulders down. Focus on contracting your abs when you do that, right? So you keep that breathing going and then just chat. I think it's really important. We just did that exercise because you've probably heard people say, oh, they've just got strong lungs or they've got weak lungs. Guess what, you guys? It has nothing to do with strong lungs or weak lungs because it's just a bag of flesh. <laughs> Sounds crazy when you say it like that, right? But what is important is the diaphragm, right? The entire surrounding muscles that actually make your lungs move. They make your ribs move. They make a hundred different things in your body move, right? So I know you guys show up because you wanna get stronger, you wanna get more flexible, whatever it is, or you go to the gym because you're like, I need these guns, <laughs> you need a booty, you need the legs when I'm thick, whatever it might be, you're working on strengthening those muscles we can see. So why the heck are you not strengthening the muscles that we can't see that help us thrive? Yeah, take that in for a second. As you're breathing and you're contracting, right? We're squeezing that pelvic floor, we're squeezing our abs, we're pressing that air out twice as long. 
right? And now you are making your body way stronger. So keep that in mind in the future every single time you breathe because it's going to help you with so many things. And with that, let's shift down to our knees and our hands into our, you know, tabletop position. So bring your knees directly underneath of your hips. Go ahead and get whacked in the face with a cattail. Just kidding, that's not a requirement. <laughs> Curl your toes under. Make sure your knees are directly under your hips. Your wrists are directly underneath of your shoulders. I want you to walk your hands a little wider this time and actually open your knees as wide as the mat. It's gonna feel like the most awkward cat pose that we've ever done, but we're really going to get into that thoracic spine. So inhale, press in your hands, lift out of your shoulders, send your gaze down past your nose. Nice flat back here. Exhale, just let it go. Inhale, I want you to drop that belly, bring your hips up towards the sky, send your gaze out forward. Keep pressing into your hands. You guys, he's being a monster. <laughs> Inhale. I mean, exhale, go ahead and round through your spine. Tuck your chin into your chest. Really lift your spine towards the ceiling here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your hips, send your gaze forward, press away from the floor. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Last one. Great job. You can uncurl your toes and send yourself straight into a child's pose, bringing your hips right to your heels. Bring that forehead all the way down to the floor. Keep your arms wide on the mat here. And if it's not comfortable to have your arms extended overhead, just walk them back by your shoulders. Okay? Focus on that breath. Right, so we focused in the front, bringing it all the way down to the base of our lung. Now I want you to really feel the back side of your body lifting through your lungs, right? We have that control, so take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here, in. And out. Just let yourself have a nice normal breath. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. Awesome job. Come back up into our tabletop, knees wide, hands wide here. Really spread all of your fingers nice and wide. Even bring three of your fingers off the mat. Take a big inhale. You can walk them a little closer to your knees if you need to. Nice flat back. Take a breath. Awesome. With that next inhale, I want you to take that right hand onto your right shoulder and then lift your elbow towards the ceiling here. Turn your chest, tuck your tailbone under, focus on that breath, really strengthening our diaphragm. Big inhale, exhale, contract that pelvic floor, flex your abs, press the air out. Inhale, exhale. You can stay right here. You can drop that hand down to your hip if you need to, or you can extend your fingers up, turning your thumb to the wall behind you. Focus on that breath, big inhale. Exhale. In. And this time with your exhale, I want you to take that right hand, thread it underneath of your left arm. We're gonna drop our right elbow, all, or right shoulder, all the way down. You can bring your forehead down to the mat as well. You can either keep your left hand here or extend it out just a little bit, lifting that elbow, and really expand through your right fingertips and feel the 
right shoulder pressing towards that back wall so you can really start to get that stretch through your shoulder blade here. Press into the bottom of your feet, keep you stable. And again, if this is not comfortable at all, you can just come back up into our tabletop and do a few of our cat cows. We just get so restricted in these areas that we need to stretch them out and stretch them out the right way, right? So use that diaphragm, big inhale, exhale, contract all of those muscles we talked about. Press it out, keep going, keep going. Great, catch your breath. One more breath here. Awesome. With that next inhale, we're gonna lift ourselves back up, plant that right hand, bring your left hand onto your shoulder, open your elbow up towards the ceiling, turn your chest towards the sky. Make sure we're holding our head nice and stable, don't let gravity just let you droop here. Take a big inhale, exhale, contract all the things, push your air out. You can find that arm variation that's comfortable for you. Just if we're up here in that extension, turn your thumb to the wall behind you so we're actually not causing any compression. Focus on your breath, inhale, exhale. One more, in. And with that exhale, we're gonna thread it on through. Bring that left shoulder down, forehead down onto the mat. Extend your right arm to a comfortable place and then really just press that left shoulder towards the wall behind you. Focus on your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, even bigger this time. Exhale. One more, in. And out. Great job. Go ahead and slow and control. Lift yourself up. You can walk your knees in. Go ahead and curl your toes under. Plant your palms here right at your, right underneath of your shoulders. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, I want you to just turn your fingers towards the edge of your mat. Send your hips up. Downward facing dog. You can have a nice big bend here in your legs. Turn your biceps towards the wall in front of you and then press into your index finger knuckle and your thumb. Feel your arms locking into place just like we want them to. And then start to find a little length through the back side of your legs. Just drop one heel and then the other. I went for a run yesterday and man, am I feeling it. So this feels fantastic for me. All right, go ahead and find your stillness right here in center. Take a big inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. Look forward. We're going to walk all the way to the front of our mat. Nice awkward little waddle. <laughs> and then just let your upper body release over your lower body. Get a nice big bend here in your knees. And just tuck your chin into your chest. And give a little shake side to side. Yes, no. Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your shins, straighten through your legs, straighten through your upper body here. Nice halfway lift. Take a big inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and controlled. We're gonna roll all the way up to standing. Straightening through the legs, tucking your tailbone under, just like we're curling in our hips here. Roll up through the low back, your mid back, your upper back. Loop those shoulders up, back and down. Lengthen through your neck, lengthen through the top of your head. Just keep your hands at your side. Take a big inhale. Exhale. 
Awesome. Go ahead and look down at your feet. I want you to turn your big toes in towards one another. They don't have to touch at all. Your knees are naturally going to bend once you move in this way. It feels awkward, but you're doing it right. So what I want you to do is I want you to press your knees back in space, press your hips forward, and then inhale. If you can, lift your arms up and overhead. Again, angling those thumbs to the wall behind us and even slightly towards those side walls. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Release your stomach, you guys. Don't hold in your abs right now. And exhale, release your hands, point your toes forward, give yourself a little shake. Move through your body freely. And then come back here in our standing. Point those toes in, press the knees back, hips forward, arms lift. Big breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Great. Go ahead and release. Point those toes forward. Find a little wiggle. Really, you got to get free with it. <laughs> You're going to look like a crazy person, but that's okay. Don't I every single session? It's fine. So come back into our neutral position. Toes in, knees back, hips forward. Inhale, lift this time if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms towards the ceiling. Press your pinkies back in space. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you're dropping your shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, exhale. One more, wherever you're at. Exhale, release, point those toes forward, and then forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms. Step one foot back, placing your knee down, then the other. Open your knees as wide as your mat. Send your hips all the way back into our child's pose. Release your forehead down to the floor. Close your eyes and just focus on that breath. Big inhale. Exhale twice as long. Inhale. Exhale, twice as long. One more, just like that. In. And out. Great, just catch your breath and let it come into a nice, normal rhythm in and out through the nose. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. And with that next inhale, walk your body up into our tabletop position. Bring your hands right underneath of your shoulders here. You can step one foot back and then the other into plank, or you can completely skip this if it's not comfortable on your shoulders, and then just wait for that next pose and just jump right into that. Press away from your hands here. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, just take that right leg, step it forward. If you didn't get between your hands, that's okay. I never do. Go ahead and take your hands, frame your foot here, and then release that back knee down. If you have any sensitivity, you can always roll your mat, giving yourself a little extra cushion or have a pillow or something close by. Keep those back toes curled. With that next inhale, place your right hand on your knee, then your left. Lift through that upper body here. Shift your body weight forward, taking the pressure really out of that knee and really feeling that length through your hip flexor, your psoas, 
which are also connected to your diaphragm. Oh my gosh, it's like we have a theme tonight. So really press into your knee, lengthen through your arms, feel your upper body shift into this almost backward bend. Send your gaze forward, pull that chin back, so we're keeping our spine nice and neutral, even though we're, uh, you know, rounding a bit. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In. Out. Just kidding. One more breath here. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, release your upper body over that right leg. I want you to plant that left hand down and then open that right arm towards the ceiling. Start to pull that right knee in towards the center of your mat. Again, you can always bring your hand at your shoulder, pull it through that elbow, or bring your hand down to your hips. Find the version that's comfortable for you. You can always uncurl your toes at this point as well. Take two more breaths here. In, out, one more. Awesome, go ahead and bring that right hand down to the floor, curl your toes back under if they're not already, lift through that back knee, step your left foot up to meet your right, forward fold. Hang out here for a second, take opposite hand, opposite elbow, tuck your chin, and just find a little sway side to side. Come back to center, take a big inhale, and exhale. Release those arms down, inhale into our halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up, tall and standing. Give me a slight back bend at the top, thumbs pointing to that back wall. And exhale, forward fold. Plant those palms down. Step it back, lower in your knees, open your knees as wide as your mat, send your hips to your heels, release your forehead down. You can have your arms extended out in front or walk them back by your shoulders. Close your eyes and just take a moment to just surrender. Focus on that breath. Remind yourself of how strong you are how much more capable you are, how amazing you are as a human. And I want you to think about something that you can do for someone else with absolutely nothing in return. Awesome. With that next breath, we're going to come back into our tabletop position. Step one foot back, and then the other, shifting into our plank. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, bend that left knee, tuck it in towards your chest, and then step it up. Bring your hands around that foot, lower that back knee down. Keep your toes curled under here. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen through your neck here. Bring that left hand onto your knee. Right hand to follow, press away. Focus on your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Notice if your shoulders are creeping back up to your ears. Relax them down. Notice if you're even holding any tension in your legs. Just try to relax your legs. Let them go. Shift your body weight forward just slightly, taking the pressure out of that back knee. And look up towards the ceiling, just slightly. Chin pulls back. Focus on that breath, big inhale. Feel your entire rib cage expanding here. Exhale, press through those abs, flex through that pelvic floor like you're trying to hold in the pee that I know you have because you drank all that water at the start of class. <laughs> Sorry for my jokes, you guys. They're so terrible. Oh, I find myself hilarious, so that's okay. One more breath here. In. As we exhale, release your chest down onto that leg. Bring that right hand to the floor. Inhale. Open up through that left side. Pull your left knee into the center. 
You can again bring that left hand to your shoulder, lift through your elbow, or extend that arm up. You can straighten through your back foot, releasing the top of your foot down. All things you can do, you're not required to. Take a big inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In. And as we exhale, release that left hand down. Curl your toes under. Lift your back knee. Step your right foot up. Meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Great job. Take one foot or the other, cross it behind an ankle, bend at your knees, and bring your bottom all the way down. We're going to come into a seat. Go ahead and plant your feet onto the mat here. Walk your heels a little closer to your body, lifting through that torso. Bring your hands right at your shins, helping you lengthen. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Really pull your knees in towards the center here. Inhale, lift your arms out in front of you. Just find your balance here. We haven't done much of anything yet. But make sure we're not rounding through that spine. Really lengthen through your spine. Pull that chin back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift your arms up even higher until you can feel your abs engage. And then exhale. <clears throat> Sink it back. Pull your knees in. Inhale. Shift forward. Release your hands. And then tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale. Lengthen. Arms come forward. Lift them up. Exhale. Sink it back. Inhale. Exhale, release, tuck your chin. Inhale, lengthen, arms come out. Exhale, sink it back. See if you can go even farther this time without rounding through your spine. Pull those knees in towards the center. And exhale, bring it up and release. Great job, roll up through your spine. And you can allow your knees to fall open as wide as your mat, bringing the bottoms of your feet together. We're going to go into our, you know, butterfly pose because we've done some leg work. So we're going to just make sure we stretch out. So take your hands, interlace your fingers, catch your toes, and then press your elbows into whatever part of your leg you can reach. Maybe you can get to your thighs. Maybe you're right there on your calf muscle. It's okay. Inhale, press your chest forward, lengthen through your spine here. And then exhale, we're gonna shift our body weight forward and begin to just fold over as much as you can. That might also mean that you bring your elbows in front of your shins. And if this is not comfortable at all or causing any issues in your shoulders, you just stay back here. Take one more big inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and lengthen through just that right leg, keeping your left leg tucked into your thigh. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, I want you to fold over that right leg, catching where you can. Maybe it's your shins, ankles, maybe you can get to the bottom of your feet. Tuck your chin into your chest and just breathe. And with that next inhale, walk your right hand inside of your right leg. Bring your palm upwards towards the sky. And then open your left arm up above. See if you can bring it up towards your ear. If you can't, that's okay. You can always bring it right onto your shoulder. Really feel the left side of your body stretching here, expanding. Use your lungs to move your torso, move that diaphragm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. With that next breath, we're gonna roll up through our spine, and we're gonna switch sides. So extend that left leg, bring your right leg into your thigh. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold over that left leg. Catching wherever you can, bending at that knee if you need to. And just focus on that breath. 
Really feel the back side of your body expanding, contracting through your abs, through your pelvic floor. And that next inhale, walk your left hand inside of your left leg, release your hand down, palm up towards the ceiling. Right hand comes onto your shoulder, look up towards the sky, lift that elbow. And again, see if you can stretch a little bit, leaning towards that left. Don't let your head dangle here. Resist gravity. Feel that lengthening all the way through your left or your right side. Inhale. Exhale. Big breath in. Exhale, twice as long, press it out. One more. Awesome, slow and controlled. Come all the way back up. We're gonna extend both legs out in front of us this time. Inhale, lift your arms out in front. Sit up nice and tall through your spine. And as we exhale, slow and controlled, release yourself all the way down. Extend those arms overhead. Get a big stretch. Yawn if you need to. And then bring your hands down towards your hips. Why don't you just pull your knees into your chest. Catch your legs with your hands and just give yourself a little tuck here. Rolling through your spine, just giving yourself a little massage. You can even rock left and right. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale, come back into the center, holding here in stillness. And as we exhale, release that left leg and your right leg. Let your feet fall open as wide as the mat. Release your hands down to the floor, palms open to the ceiling. And get yourself nice and comfortable. As we move into our final pose, you guys, we made it into our Savasana. Take a big inhale. And exhale. The biggest breath you've taken all day. Inhale. And exhale. Press it out twice as long. Engage the abs. Engage the pelvic floor. Catch that breath. Great. Just let that breath come to a nice normal rhythm. This is our time to be still. Be present and just breathe. So with that, I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. And your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes. And wiggle your fingers. Pat your eyelashes open and closed. And when you're ready, roll onto your side facing me. Use your arm as a pillow. We'll take a breath here. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale, press away from the floor. Come on up into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall. Hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. 
Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale. And exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me back in the official studio. It just makes my heart so happy to be back down here and have oxygen that I can breathe, literally breathe through my nose. Oh, wait, put the money back. <laughs> um, seriously, thank you guys so much for showing up tonight. It means the world. Uh, if you have any fun comments or suggestions or anything, leave them down in the comments because um, I'm here to support you guys. Clearly, I like to teach, and I haven't been in my classroom since, like, um, March. So I'm going to teach you guys all the stuff to be a happy, healthy human who is thriving without pain. So with that, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.